Hello everyone, thank you for joining me at The Lonely Vine. So I'm just going to get right into it because I want to try to keep this under 10 minutes, but I posted an entry on the site yesterday about going to the wine shop and having them pick out a wine for me, bagging it, not showing me anything because I wanted to do practice working on my blind tastings. So I was going to wait for a blind tasting I'm going to next week. But, you know, it's like a Christmas present sitting under the tree. I just can't wait, so I'm just going to do it tonight. So here it is. I've already opened it. See, I can't see anything about it, but it's a green bottle. The shape of it, the neck, it's not like the Pinot shape. It's more like a Cabernet shape, so I'm guessing it's a red wine. So I have no idea if it needs to be decanted or not. Since it's just in the bottle. I'll just run it through here, and we're just going to get right into trying this. Fun, huh? Okay. So, I was right. It is a red wine. It is clear, but it's a pretty high intensity, meaning that it's um, not the easiest wine to see through. So, on that point, I would think it would be a thicker skinned uh, red wine um, grape. It, uh, I would say it's ruby in color, border, yeah, ruby in color. There's not a whole lot of purple in there. There is some rib variant, which is the, if you tilt it at the side, looking through the deepest part and going to the edge. There's some color change, and this is more pinkish salmon, the colors that they use. Uh, we'll look at the viscosity or the tears or legs, whatever you want to call them. And you can see it there. I don't know if you can or not. They're pretty slow. They took, uh, they took a second to form. So I'll say uh, medium on that. If it was medium high, um, you would think there'd be more alcohol in it, medium low, less alcohol, and so on. So this is medium, so my guess will be that there'll be a medium middle of the road alcohol content to it. Um, all right, so that's it for color. There may be some purple on that, actually. All right, let's go ahead and get the nose into it. Hmm. Maybe open up for me. Definitely getting some spices, some wood, so I think uh, some cedar, um, baking spices. So I'm guessing that this is something that's been in oak. Fruit wise, um, red fruit. Kind of the crisper, you know, um, raspberries. Um, maybe some um, red currant. Maybe some nut strawberry. Not really cherry. Raspberry, you know, the spices are there, the baking spices. So, I would guess this would be a New World wine. I'm not getting a lot of earth. I'm not getting um, a lot of minerality. Fruit and spices. New World wine. Uh, let's see if there's any uh, flower to it. It's definitely a young smelling wine. It's youthful. It hasn't been aged a whole lot. Um, this isn't very thick. So, yeah, it's looking at probably a one to three year old wine. I'm not getting a lot of flowers, but I never do. Imagine that, a guy that doesn't pick up a lot of flowers since. Like I said, not a lot of earth. The wood, the spice, the fruit. So, so far we're thinking, of, I'm thinking a thicker, thicker screen grape, new world. 
mind. Let's get into it. Okay. A lot of acid. Medium plus on acid. Medium on alcohol, like I expected. It's a dry wine. Definitely some tannins there. I would say medium plus maybe, medium to medium plus on the tannins. Medium body. Medium alcohol, medium high acidity. The complexity is there. This is a definitely one you want food with. You know, that may be medium plus on alcohol. Red fruit. Again, this by it's a lot of acid. <laughs> Good length on it too. I'm still tasting it. The red fruits are there. The raspberries there. There's a red plum there. Um, this is a good wine. Definitely could use some age to it. Oh man, I'm going to bomb this one. Okay, I'm going to say New World Wine, moderate climate, I almost want to go warm, but Yeah, I'm going to say warm. Possible varieties here. It could be um, maybe a Tempranillo, maybe a Malbec, maybe Cabernet. I don't think they're yeah. Those would be the three I would think off the top of my head. Uh, so countries could be Argentina, could be the US, could be Spain. Spain, I know it's old world, but they use a lot of new world oak in their in their wines. And definitely I'm saying one to three years. So with final conclusion. to say at nine minutes here, so I gotta speed it up. I'm gonna say that this is Tempranillo, so I'm gonna say Rioja region from Spain. Um, maybe a Crianza, so that's probably at least two years, probably three years old, so I'll say 2008. <laughs> I should just stop it now. But we'll go ahead and do the unveiling here just to see how bad, how far off I am. Ah, I was in the, nowhere near the ballpark. I said it, but I failed. It is a Franciscan. Uh, it is Napa Valley Cabernet 2008. Hey, I got the year right, right? Uh, at least I mentioned that one. Um, aged for 20 months. Small oak barrels. Um, yep. 
They say black cherry, plum, and notes of cedar. So, in conclusion, I did get New World. I did get Warm Climate. Uh, I have to say. I did say Cabernet, but I went with Tempranillo. Obviously, need a little bit more education. Um, did get the age right and didn't get the country right either. So, overall, it wasn't very good. But uh, I was kind of in the ballpark. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. So, that's it. I'm almost at 11 minutes, so I wanted to get this over short and sweet. First blind tasting on the site. And. Eh, what are you gonna do? Thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, what do you think? Have you been to many blind tastings? Do you like going to blind tastings? Do you like trying to figure the grape and stuff out? Or have you ever even done that? So hope you're having a great night and I'll talk to you later.